Hey everybody, I'm back with another DIY. Today I'm going to be altering some eggs. I've had these eggs probably, oh gosh, four years, four or five years, and I want to do them with this pink gingham because this is what I'm going to be decorating with in my family room and kitchen is um, the pink gingham gray and yellows and I thought I could cover these because these aren't the colors that I'm going to be using and even in my living room my formal living room where my hutch is and everything those are going to be more of the purples and grays more like this so I just want to show you a couple of uh, ways I have altered eggs in the past and the first one I did and I did this at a quilt shop I used to take um, classes at this place they're no longer in business it just makes me sick because they had the oh man they had really neat classes and beautiful beautiful fabric anyway this was a egg shaped piece of styrofoam and what we did is the folded star on it with all different fabrics and then just put some of this organza ribbon with pearls so that will sit out. I may put it in a basket in a little vignette or something. I don't know. But that's one way that I did this egg years. Now this I did years and years ago. Then I took some napkins and then just decoupaged on to this. And this was a regular plastic egg that you get from uh, Dollar Tree, Target, anywhere. Just your typical, the plastic eggs this one was along with these and this one I put lace at the bottom to make it more shabby chic and then just a couple more that I'll put into different decor pieces so today what I want to do is I'm going to take and I don't know oh they glued this in I was hoping they didn't but I need to get this out, the ribbon, because I need to be able to poke this fabric down in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how much fabric I'm going to need to cover this egg. Hi guys, I'm back. I was trying to figure out which way I wanted to do this and how I wanted to put the fabric. And I decided to put it in strips so it wouldn't buckle up and pucker too much. I'm trying to get this out of the... Good grief. And I'm going to take my brush and start putting my fabric right here and this hole works perfectly to get that in so if you don't have a hole make a little hole on whatever eggs you use and it will help to secure this in the end you know what I mean so just follow that Mod Podge or you could just uh, use glue and water if you wanted whatever you have And you're just going to bring it straight up, go down in the hole, and you can just get eggs. I don't know if they make eggs this big. I mean regular eggs, you know. I think they'd be expensive. I think you'd be better off getting eggs from uh, a craft, um, Easter eggs 
from a store because they'll be cheaper than styrofoam. Styrofoam is very expensive. And now I'm just taking the Mod Podge and with it laying down any ends that are up, you know, gapping. Take another strip. And then you can get whatever uh, kind of egg you want as far as a color. See how it's gapping in here? You're not going to get away from that completely, but that's okay. So you're getting the gist now, right, of what I'm doing. I'm going to do this with all three of these particular eggs. You can see how it's coming together. And I'm just tightening up these pieces that are in the hole, wanting to keep them tight. Putting a little bit of Mod Podge holding it. You could only, always put a straight pin in there too if you wanted. And okay, I'm going to go over here. And then what I'll do, Right before I put the last piece on this one, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm on to the last strip of this egg. These go really quick, guys. Once you have the strips done, it goes fast. When I'm done with the strip, then I'll go through the whole egg. But I'll go in uh, stages, you know what I mean? Half and then half, so I have something where I can lay it down where it won't stick. But I'm going to Mod Podge the whole egg. But that's what it looks like so far. It's turning out cute. And I don't know if I'm going to embellish these with anything. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to put that down. Let it dry a little bit. Wash my hands. And then I'll be back. Hey everybody. Okay, I'm back. And now I want to embellish these pink eggs. So I think what I'm going to use is some twine. At least for one of them. And I think what I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to wrap because everything I've made kind of has a theme that's running through it. So it kind of all melds together. I just wanted a little something to embellish on these. And again, you don't have to. If you want them really rustic, you don't have to do anything. Just randomly looking at stuff and putting stuff on these. There's no rhyme or reason. <laughs> and I might leave one completely alone and not do anything with it. And then, think. Putting just one little rose. So I'll be back when I decide what I'm going to do with the other ones. Okay, so we have this one, okay, and I just put a little bit of the twine and then some of this trim and a couple of these little foam roses. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to start at the top and just bring this twine 
around and cut it. And then do it again. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do with that one. I'm not going to put any more. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of this trim and just like eggs that you would dye, they all have different designs. That's all I'm doing with this. It's just so they all have a little bit of a different look. And I'm going to take just a little bit of the gingham. Like I said, I'm not doing a lot. I mean, you could go, you know, really all out. Just depends on what you want, you know. And that's all I'm going to do with that one. That's it. So you have two different ways that I did a little embellishing. And the third one I think what I might do is just put this around the center up and around So you see I'm using all the same embellishments but just putting them in putting them on the egg different ways. another one of those fancy loopies. Knot it one more time. These were very easy, very inexpensive. there you go. No big thing, no great shake. Just a little bit. All of the same embellishments just put on different. So guys, I hope that you will try wrapping some of your large eggs that you've had for a long time. Maybe it isn't the right color anymore. Embellish it with what you have. Make something old new again, if you will. There you go. All different. Made with all the same supplies. But just put on a little differently. And decorated a little bit differently. These were a lot of fun to make. So I hope you will try this. And until we get together again, remember the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.